when I do do, when I do do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I said doo doo. <laughs> Preferably though, when I do do my hair, I like to tie my hair down because I don't like to pull on my lace or my frontal on my baby hairs while I'm doing my hair. So I guess I am gonna tie it down. Hopefully it doesn't leave a line of demarcation. If it does, y'all know I'm gonna fix it. So we're gonna tie this. <laughs> okay, so I like to tie my hair down because, like I said, I don't like for all the like my my wig to be pulling like this is not my hair it's my hair but it's not my hair so we gotta keep it on the head don't want my wig to fall off while i'm curling my hair okay so see it's getting hot but the numbers are spazzing like look i'm showing my live stream like the numbers are going up and down like this is indecisive how hot it wants to be you not bald headed i'm on my force Okay, so this is the sunburn hair, as you see in the title. But let's talk about it. We only used, like, how many... Okay, you made this wig. How many bundles did you use? I think you used, like, three or two and a half or something. Because, I don't know. But okay, if you remember, tell me how many bundles you used. So, um, I'm going to part it into, you know... The disrespect. My bun just came down after I just clamped it. Okay. So, I like to part it or whatever get some sections going on by the way i have a color tutorial on how i got this nice brownie color going on here two and a half yeah she used two and a half bundles and usually you guys i use three bundles for my straight hair but for some reason i don't know why we use less than this one but i don't mind because it's hot i don't mind because it's hot so we're gonna try the new me one okay and i just like to do my waves like this and remember we're gonna go for the straight ends today so i'm not gonna focus too much about the end and it's actually hot, it's still working right now. I thought it wasn't working at all, but it's working right now. So we're gonna curl it. And you could like feel on to it. And Numi um, curling wands comes with gloves as well. I just don't like them. Feels weird. Okay, so then I like to let the curl fall on my hand. <clears throat> and I keep telling you guys, you wanna make sure that you let the curl fall in your hand to cool because if the curl drops then the heat and the gravity is going to pull it down to be straight and cause your curls to drop again so you have to make sure you're holding your curl and if you don't want to sit there and hold your curl till it cools just use a butterfly clip that happened to Kay <laughs> and then to make the curl hold a little bit further more I like to use my got to be spray okay we match it got to be hey got to be but yeah I like this for this matter because it's it's a good free spray and it's not heavy to make the hair crinkly or stiff. So I like to use the got to be for that reason. And then basically, um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna repeat. So as you see, I'm curling. Well, which way did I curl before? Did I curl like this? Yeah. So towards, I'm going in like this. And I'm gonna make all my curls go the same way. Sometimes I switch the direction because I like more volume, but because I'm going for that like beachy look with the straight ends, I want my curls to all, or my waves to all go the same way, if that makes sense. So then we're gonna let it fall again. And it just should spring right into your hand, just like that. Put that clamp right through, and then spray. Spray right away. Spray right away. Come on! Spray. Right away. I have this thing where I low-key hate doing this side of my head because I'm so comfortable with doing this side. So we're gonna part some more on this side. To be honest with you guys, I like when K curls my hair because I don't be having the patience. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. So this one is a little bit of a bigger section, so it's taking a little bit longer to heat up. But don't be like that girl and burn off your hair waiting for this to heat up. You just wanna feel it and you'll feel it hit the top surface of the hair and that's when you want to take it out. Perfect. I just wanted to check you in on what I'm doing I like to spray the very front of my hair with some got to be spray or spritz and I like to push my hair back like this so that it stands up I like when my parts stand up I don't like when it's just flat or not my parts but I like when my hair in the front stands up I don't like for it to just fall flat so I do that 
to get it to stand and then I curl right on top of it so I'm going to do that for um, the rest of the sections in the front so I just wanted to fill you guys in on that before I speed it up Take out these pin curls. Thank you. I need to clean it. So I don't like these Shirley Temple curls at all. But they are kind of cute. This curl is a dub. But it might work still, so you're just taking them all out. All right, so let me finger detangle them. Cause the goal here is remember I have two and a half bundles so I want to make it look like three okay so I'm feeling like and I need to straighten my ends because I'm not feeling the like curly ends so what I do I take my straightener dang this hair is long um, take my straightener and just straighten the ends I should have did this before I finger combed it just so I could get them while they were like bunched up and I want the curls to drop like I want looser curls so I'm just like straightening the ends a little bit yeah so this is what I'm getting and I feel as though when you open it up a little bit and go under to tease it, it makes the hair look more bigger. So go under and tease it a little bit like this side needs some teasing. Needs some loving over here. Alright. So that's basically it. 